guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here once again with a brand new completion and review video. And as you can see, we have my little squirrel in a tree. Isn't he cute? I just think he's adorable. So, um, let me grab my booklet. Here it is. And let me just quickly bring it in so you can see it more. So here's the thumbnail. And this is item W1449. It is a 30 by 40 centimeter from Fan Sales. And I don't remember what I paid for this, you guys. And I thought I had it brought up on my computer. But all of the Fan Sales paintings are between 5 and $6 of this size that I bought. Um, so it was like, I think, I think, I, I kind of remember maybe 561, somewhere along that, a Canadian. Anyway, there were 20 colors. Sorry, I just had to check to make sure this was recording. And they started with the one of one and all the way to nine is nine. And then 10 to 20 were alphabet letters but not in alphabetical order. So I really like when they do that with the numbers and the letters. Um, I, I just think it's really good sense. I, I just, I don't know. I wish they all did that. I know I say it all the time. You're probably tired of hearing it. I'm sorry. So you guys, I started this in May 26th and I finished this May 29th. I did a lot of diamond paintings in April and May. So for me, <laughs> anyway, um, the pros of this were the price, and I, I wish I had the price up here. Um, I think it was five sixty one. dollars Anyway, this was a super clear photo. The drill field was super, super clear. Really good. Great stick. Really good symbols. Um, I had no trouble seeing anything. It was just a really good diamond painting canvas now the con but it wasn't really a con okay this is not a con at all were the dark colors which i knew clearly because i ordered a painting with dark colors it's obviously a fall or winter winter scene where the trees are still barren it's like a snowy kind of background you can see, you know it's a squirrel in a tree now this was different from what i normally get because this was a photo realistic diamond painting and normally i get a more cartoony diamond painting so I wanted to see how the more photorealistic things come out, and it came out great. I mean, you can see the little outline of the trees in the background. Now, this is also one of the ones that looks better from further away than closer up, but that's true of a lot of real paintings, too. So I'm not too worried about that. I think it looks really good. Um, we're pretty still, we're still close. I'm sitting here. I'll put my face right equal to the camera and I can touch it. So it's like an arm's length away from me now. And it looks good, like an arm's length away, but it looks even better from two arm's lengths away, say. So I can't go further away than that and reach to show you. So let's bring it closer so I can show you some of the sparkle. I have to angle it to try to catch the sparkle because I don't have my overhead light on. It's very sparkly. Um, what I should have is a, I should have a little flashlight to show you these guys. I don't know why I never thought of that. Oh, well, next time I'll get a flashlight. The next time I do a batch of, of uh, reviews. I usually wait till I have three or four to, to start doing my review videos. But it's, it is sparkly. It's very dull and overcast outside. I have my side lamp on. So this when I put my overhead light on, it doesn't look as good because it just makes it like a glare. And this is already sealed, but you can see the sparkle. Now, when I bring it closer, you can see it's a little bit pixelated. The eye looks like a perfect square. But when you move it out, it looks really good. So the tree is like a realistic tree with the realistic tree colors and some, some, um, it looks like snow and like some old moss that never came off with the snow dripping from it. Here's the squirrel's tail. He's kind of like got a glow around him. So, yeah, for some reason it looks better when it's flat to catch the light. I 
Well, you know how it is. So let me just quickly put this back. So I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, I, I prefer uh, painting with more colors when I'm in that kind of colorful mood. But I didn't mind doing this. I love squirrels and animals, and I, I think it came out really beautifully. So what do you guys think? Do you like this one? Do you like the more photorealistic ones, or do you prefer the more cartoony ones? I usually do the ones that look more like cartoons or coloring pages. So th this is a nice change. All right, thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me as a new um, YouTuber. And also, thank you to all of you who have subscribed and to those of you who leave your comments. I really appreciate the support. You're a wonderful community. I love reading all the nice, uplifting comments. It, it really makes my day. So thank you. All right, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye for now.